to Into the Pit in another episode of Greatest Album Covers. Man, those were the days, hey? Metallica's Master of Puppets, Ride the Lightning. In my opinion, the best area of, uh, of Metallica ever. Um, and also, look at the cover art. I mean, it, it says it all. It's like, ironic that the best albums have the best album cover art. And um, I think uh, Master of Puppets is iconic. Um, it says so much. I mean, the puppet master with his strings attached to the, the soldiers' graves. And what a statement, and the entire album is a statement, and um, viewed by many as one of the best heavy metal albums of all time. And I can only second that, and um, this is also when Metallica still used their, the best version, if you ask me, of their logo. Um, in my opinion, the logo has been raped and, 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 and abused in many of the following albums afterwards and um, just shows you, don't mess with your brand. And um, I would love it if Metallica would return to that, you know, sort of 3D marble type logo. Well, at least, if it's not the marble, then at least have the sort of dimension and the you know, perspective of it. But yeah, what, what more can be said about Master of Puppets? I mean, the cover is iconic, the music is iconic, it's a classic, it'll go down in history. So, not much more can be said. I'm actually not sure who the artist is. Apparently the cover was drawn by a certain Don Brautigam. Um, we haven't heard much more of him. I'm, I'm not sure if he's done any other work. Um, I think he's done some um, stuff for novels for Dean Coons and Stephen King. Um, oh yes, I can see now here he's done um, Covers uh, for Motley Crue's Dr. Feelgood, ACDC's Razor's Edge, and Anthrax Persistence of Time. So there you go. Um, so he could do quite a few words. But there you go, that's actually the cover artist for Marcel Puppets.